Hey guys, this is Bharadwaj with Phone Arena again and uh, we had been playing around with Windows Phone 7.8 for a while which was leaked on the Naviform servers so previously we had a leaked copy but it was a UK firmware so we didn't get two main things that were supposed to be part of the Windows Phone 7.8 update namely Bluetooth sharing and Ringtone Maker so these two apps are Nokia exclusive they are only for the Lumia devices and they will be providing you the two most wanted functionalities that have been requested on Windows Phone 7.5 so let's take a look at uh, Bluetooth sharing first so you can transfer JPGs mainly most pictures, bitmaps, GIFs or whatever you can transfer those pictures and uh, from gallery of course and of course you can transfer music files so only two kinds of sharing are available so you can transfer pictures and music from the bluetooth share application so it is not actually a native app it is actually an app built by nokia to take advantage of the bluetooth transfer platform and uh, they have done just that so this explains how deep the integration with nokia's apps can get to windows phone for example another example is the ringtone maker of course which can pick songs from your collection and take ringtones out of it so uh, even the nokia counters app which can count the mobile data that is not possible with the normal apps that is not possible with any other third party apps so that's how deep nokia's integration with windows phone 7.8 has been so let's take a look at uh, bluetooth sharing between two devices i'm taking two non-standard devices for example i'm going to transfer a picture from uh, the Lumia 800 to the Droid Razer Max so this is an Android phone so I'm going to transfer this file from this phone to this phone so let's try that out so I'm launching the Bluetooth transfer app as you can see it says received so if you have received any uh, file from your friend or someone it will show up here but then if you want to share a file we have two options first is pictures that's what we are gonna see first so let's open up pictures and you can choose a picture from your camera photos application basically so you can also choose uh, skydrive uh, photos as well uh, and if you have added a Facebook uh, account too you can transfer pictures from that so let's uh, select the camera role I had taken a picture today earlier so let's try to uh, connect to this phone through Bluetooth so I'm switching the Bluetooth on on this device so it should be on and as you can see I've already paired this device to this so only paired devices appear here and you can send files only to the paired devices so click on that so now it's trying to connect to the Droid Razor and now it says Bluetooth share accept the file yes of course so now it's transferring the file from here to here as you can see the progress is happening but the problem is that this app the bluetooth chat app has to be open in order to send the file so if i click the windows button or the back button and if the app exits then the transfer is cancelled so that's the thing about uh, a small limitation in this app but at least you can do something about it so let's wait for the transfer to get completed and uh, that is a proof to attest that Bluetooth sharing in indeed works so let's wait for the to complete and it's done so as you can see have uh, transferred the same app from here to here so you can also choose files and send music files so these are the mp3 files that's that are on my uh, phone that I added through Zune so you can send uh, music files too let me just demo that it's the same thing same like uh, transferring pictures so as you can see the mp3 file is being sent and like I told you earlier, if I click on home or any button, when I get out of this app, the transfers will be stopped. So as you can see, the transfer has been cancelled by the user because I click the back button or the home button rather. So 
that's it for the Bluetooth transfer file. So let's take a look at uh, Ringtone Maker. Let's keep that aside. Let's take a look at the Ringtone Maker file. This is very useful for everybody because before it used to be a hindrance to load any uh, music file as a ringtone. It, uh, it was very complicated and even I had written a post about it earlier. So it's a very complicated process and thankfully Nokia has a new app that can fix it. Earlier there used to be some third party apps that can fix it but uh, this app can pick uh, music from your library. So that is an access provided only for Nokia apps. So that is going to work out so well. Let's see. So I'm picking a song here. It's already on my uh, phone through Zune. So I'm going to pick a song. So I'm picking the song. As you can see, this is the uh, cool new indicator. So at maximum you can have a 30 seconds of a file. That is the maximum. So when I move this uh, way, as you can see, it travels through the song. So it will be covering the song as a tone from 15 to 45 seconds. That is uh, 30 seconds of the song. Let's play it. So as you can see, music uh, coming out from there. So 30 seconds of a file and you can move it and increase or reduce the duration. It works really well and you hit just save to save it as a ringtone. And it will ask if you want to make this your ringtone right away. If you do want it, you can make it right away and click the tick button. So now it's done. So as you can see now, we'll go into the settings. So there you go. It says the thing I created earlier. This is the one I created earlier. So under the custom, you can see the new ringtones here. So that's a quick demo of the Bluetooth sharing and ringtone maker on Windows Phone 7.8 featuring the Nokia Lumia 800. Remember this is exclusively for Nokia Lumia devices. So this can be uh, done only for the Nokia devices. So hit like and subscribe for more videos like this. If you have any comments or questions you can shout down at the comment section below. Thank you so much.